Hello again, Mavi Traders, and welcome out to your Market Roundup. My name is Anki Sharma, and I'll be one of the new voices here on the Market Roundup. Just want to give uh, a quick background on myself. I've been with Maverick since 2009, and I mostly trade on the currency side, and any of you that are tr uh, trading both the stock and option division and the forex division, you might be familiar with me, but any of, any of you just trading on the stock and option side, I mostly teach on the currency side, and I'll be making a bit of a switch over and adding my two cents on our uh, stock and option size from time to time. So uh, that's about it. Let's get into uh, today's uh, market uh, recap and let's take a look at what really happened. We'll be going over uh, the broad market analysis, taking a look at what really moved, um, what the sector heat map is telling us and taking a look at some setups. So let's get into it. Disclaimer. This video was created for professional stock and option traders. Maverick Trading is a proprietary trading firm that employs professional traders around the world. Our traders trade firm capital and keep 70 to 80 percent of profits they generate. All trades and analysis in this video are for professional traders only. If you are interested in becoming a professional trader for Maverick, click the apply button in the video description. Let's break down what happened today. So today was another exciting day in the market so far. This week has been quite an exciting week. Uh, we are continuing to see market pulling back. So if you just continue to look at the daily news, we are seeing markets weakening. And we are also noticing some weakness in the gold market. While the bond yields are sort of unchanged ahead of this key CPI numbers. So let's take a look at the chart. The S&P chart looks okay. I mean, we have given up the 20 day moving average, but we're still above this key 50 day moving average. But if we take a look at the chart for the Qs, the NASDAQ, we are right at the critical point of that 50 day moving average. And this is where, if you take a look at a lot of the charts, a lot of these higher flyers that has been really strong for the past few months, they all started to weaken here. So we are seeing a lot of the frothiness coming down. So the big question is, are we ready to break lower? Or is this going to be just a buying opportunity to get us back to the highs? You know, any of the traders that follow Elliott Wave, you know, you can look at this and say, maybe this is the ABC correction and we probably be going higher from here. But I think this is where we also need to pay attention to this, um, you know, with these uh, inflation numbers and see how this will impact the markets because, um, you know, markets can change its mood pretty quickly here. We are. Uh, sitting as some very hefty gains for this year. So I won't be surprised some choppy uh, markets ahead of us in the next coming months. Now, looking at the advanced decline uh, ratio here, again, 58% was down, 38% was up. So you can see that most of the uh, movement was on the downside. Again, 50-day moving average, you can see um, it's pretty much kind of split in between there. But if you take a look at the sector heat map, this is where you'll notice that the big uh, high flyers are the one that really weakened the most. NVIDIA, Google, Meta, uh, Amazon, Tesla, <laughs> Apple, Microsoft. So all those big high flyers are pulling back. Outside of that, it was not that big red of a day. Um, but really, these big stocks really caused that big move to the downside. We are still seeing markets trying to fight this move to the downside. Some buyers coming in. I guess we'll find out tomorrow when we get this uh, inflation number because we are expected to see a rise, um, a first uptick in the year-over-year -year number in the inflation. Now, looking at the uh, performance, you can see that overall Dow Jones down, S&B down, but Qs are the one that are underperforming the most. Um, you know, the uh, IWM down 0 0.78. And look at that. Oil market continues to outperform. So this is where one of the sectors that I will be paying close attention to and a lot of my picks are in the oil sector. Um, so that's really where we need to be. Uh, also keep in mind is that gold is sort of pulling back here. And maybe there is some um, place ahead in the gold market. So we'll find out tomorrow. Tomorrow is really a bit of a, a decision day where we might get a confirmation either for a reversal or for a continuation and breaking down further. Now let's talk about our market outlook. A market outlook, again, I'm looking at a zero uh, as a weekly outlook. And I usually like to do that going into big events because that's where things can change pretty quickly. We are already noticing this uh, sort of weakness here. So we can't deny that the market sentiment has weakened. So all the bulls out there, they're just hoping for markets to bottom out tomorrow. 
and all the bears out there, they're looking for uh, sort of a break of this level so they can get bearish. So I think right now it's pretty much 50-50. We'll find out with side wins. The uh, monthly outlook has a plus one, but I pr pretty much wanted to go as neutral as I can and then see where the big move happened. And I think that's where we're going to find some opportunities. So potential trades. Most of the trades that I have are in the um, in the oil sector. We have Target still in neutral trade. And again, PayPal and Shopify is uh, one of the top on the list here on the potential bearish rate. Again, this is a market where I think we can find good longs and shorts. I'm not really a big fan of neutral trades here. I mean, volatility has picked up substantially in the last week or so. Again, when the volatility is higher, we want to play directionally. When volatility is low, we want to be looking at more neutral trades. Let's start with the first one. This one is Synovus Energy. And you can see that we just have ran up and sort of making a bit of a high base here. Uh, but overall, we are still we are sitting at the highs of this uh, channel here. The moving averages are rising here. This is, again, uh, I really like this on the upside here. You know, the big question is how aggressive do you want to be in this one? You know, you can see that it's moving. It's slowly moving. It's not moving exponentially. So we're probably looking at more on a diagonal spread over here. Now, let's take a look at the other one, LNG. And same thing, you can see making new highs. We have a bit of a shadow on this candle today. But again, overall, I want to be buying any of the pullbacks here. Uh, remember, the energy sector really hasn't been in play for the past few weeks and months. So this is, again, a good time to kind of reload load up on those uh, uh, stocks because I think we probably see more of that relative strength there and kind of erasing some of the market volatility that we are seeing in other areas where there's more risk to the downside. On the other hand, here I have PayPal. I really like this setup here. We, I mean, just take a look at we gap lower and pretty much we have been going lower since then. I mean, we have a bigger support right here at about 59. So I like this to maybe re uh, test this 59 area and potentially go lower. Again, showing relative weakness. I love these plays where it gaps and it just continues moving lower. It never had a chance to fill up that gap. It's continuing that move. So I like that on the downside here. And we can also take a look at Shopify, which is in a very similar sort of a pattern here. They're all sort of turning. They're giving up the 20. They're giving up the 50. And I found a lot of setups that I can get excited about on the short side. But I think this is where we need to get that confirmation for the markets. We don't want to jump the gun here. We need to wait for confirmation. So for the outlook tomorrow, again, all eyes are on the US CPI. Markets are likely to move 1% to 2% on the news. Either way, I think tomorrow is a day where we could bottom out, maybe make a short-term reversal, or break lower, and that would really put a dent into the market. So those are the one of the two scenarios. Keep an eye on the bond market. Keep an eye on uh, what the gold is doing. I think there's a good opportunity likely on, be on the horizon across the board. So that's what I'll be looking at. If you're looking at earnings, we have Baba earnings tomorrow. But again, I'm not really looking into, um, you know, being in a lot of positions. I like to hedge myself in these events. Or if I'm in cash, wait for, um, you know, the, the tomorrow to kind of go pass by and so we can put some new positions on, especially going into September. So that's the game plan here. Uh, happy trading to all of you and good luck tomorrow.